Well, everybody, I think it's going to be a wrap up here in a minute. About out of worms. Fish slowed down. They're getting a whole lot of bites. The bites that I'm getting are pretty much the gar. I'm pretty much positive of that. I still got to load everything up and track back up in through that rock deal all the way back up. It's a pain in the butt. But not bad when you get down here. Not bad at all. Anyways, probably just going to turn this on and leave it on for a while. Sort of chill out too. Got to put my hood on over my hat because I'm getting chilly. I left my other coat up there in the truck because it was warm enough down here. But now it's starting to chill off, so it's going to get rowdy here before long, probably. It's Friday. School will be letting out here in a minute. And usually all them kids come out here and go across the way there. That's a little conservation. Pull in access to the river over there. and They'll pull in over there and get all rambunctious and build a fire and have a hoe down or whatever you call it. <laughs> Anyways. You can hear the highway down that way highway goes across I just put them uh, rock berms in down there they're trying to stop the erosion because it's really eroding the way out there into that field and before long it's going to change the whole flow of the river if they don't do something about it I think when I reel them in this time, when I get a bite, I'm going to be done reeling them. Well, there's a lot of rebar down here. All this concrete makes me wonder how much steel's actually buried up in here. Ain't no telling. You get to hear me really huffing and puffing on the way out of here. I'm really bad out of shape. And I really, I kind of didn't get my breathing back after I had COVID. I had COVID about three times. And it wasn't that bad, but I mean, it's like I never did get my breathing all the way back because I didn't go out and do anything. Of course, everything was shut down. Most exercise I got was whenever I'd take my kayak out and go kayak fishing. And I probably didn't do that enough to call it exercise. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is I need to do more kayak fishing. <laughs> Gotta love these lazy days, man. Gotta love them. Seen two people earlier take off down that timber line over there, going down that way. I'm assuming that they might be out there hunting for a early gray morel. I don't know what else they'd be doing. They didn't have no fishing gear. I didn't have no hiking or nothing like that. It's not really big enough to do anything in, but it took off down that bank, so I'm assuming they're mushroom hunting. A little early for up here. I'd say they're probably a week early. 
about another week and little morel will start popping. Won't be that many of them though until it warms up a bit. Oh, we got a bite. They're just so small, man. They nibble, nibble, nibble. Kind of fishing back off this way because straight out over there, I was hitting gar after gar after gar. I could tell they were gar the way they were hitting. And I couldn't get them in. I mean, my line's a little scuffed up a couple of times, so pretty sure that was gar. Just not committing. Just not committing. <laughs> so far out of this little hole right here. And uh, another place I go, I've, I've got probably at least, I've probably caught at least 25 channel cats so far this year. A um, handful of them, you know, I don't know, probably more than that. Probably about freaking, probably 15 of them were keepers. They could have been pan size and above. The rest of them all been little bitty tiny ones. <laughs> Like this one that's biting on my pole right now, I can tell you just a little bitty tiny thing. I'm actually probably using a little bit too much pole for this little river right here. I don't think anybody that I know of hasn't caught anything real big out of this for a long, long time. I know a couple guys have caught a couple of 15 to 20 pounders out of here a long time ago, but you're not here lately. Here lately, the biggest I've heard about has been a five pound channel cat or so. I'm using the big cat fevers. And I got a, a Daiwa Saltus 50 on this one, on the other two, I got the Zebco 888s. And for for this river right here, them 888s are more than enough. But I do like that Daiwa Saltus. They are nice. It's conventional. You gotta slide the string back and forth with your thumb. It doesn't have the auto spooler that keeps it all level wind. Well, I'm going to check the bait. I'm pretty sure it's gone. But to look and see, I might have one or two worms left in there. Well, I still got bait on there. Kind of chewed up a little bit, but not too bad. I'm going to throw it back out there for a minute. <clears throat> Yeah, I know, I keep saying I'm going to leave, but... <laughs> then I never leave.
There's more people heading out. They've got bags. They're mushroom hunting. They could be up. If they are, they'd be few and far in between them. Little bitty gray ones. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. It's about 11 minutes of video on there, so I'll probably turn it on when I hike out of here, so you can see me all huffing and puffing and trying to climb rocks. <laughs>